Good day, I am Sherilyn Dyer and today I will be interviewing Miss Camille Winsfair. Camille, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am Camille, as she said, I'm 21. I'm currently studying in St. Lucia. I've lived in Montserrat all of my life, except for a short period of time, maybe about three to six months, if that long, I was living in Antigua because of the volcanic crisis. But I spent most of my days here. I went to the Kingsdale Primary School, had a great kid here. Then I transferred to the Plymouth Primary School, which would also was the best primary school in those times. And later on I went to the Sterling Primary School. And after about a year or so, I completed my primary school education at St. Augustine Primary School because of the volcanic crisis. Then I later studied at the Montserrat Secondary School and then finally at the Montserrat Community College. Being a part of the first um, set of graduates to graduate from the present college. So that was a milestone for us. Also when we were in secondary school, we were the first set of um, students to go from first to fifth form at the Montserrat Secondary School in Salem. That's great. I know you have excelled academically and was an avid debater. Can you tell us some more about this? Well, I debated um, when I was in sixth form. Uh, it was with a lot of us, but we did the best that we could. The first year we went to Antigua to compete, and I debated alongside Tanisha Christopher. We weren't very successful that year, but. Um, the next year when we had it in Montserrat, coincidentally we won, not by people who just say, oh, it's because that they were in Montserrat, they won. But we really worked hard on our topic, which was um, teenage mothers should be allowed to continue school. And we won that against, I think it was Sinkit or Nevis, I can't remember, but we won that night and we later went on to win the um, LIDC championship. Wow. Right in 2007. Impressive. By profession, you're a teacher. Yes. What has this experience been like, especially because you know you're one of us, you're a young person? Well, it had its challenges. As I just came straight out of sixth form and started teaching, and it was a bit challenging at first, but then after I got the hang of it and you know, being confident in myself and talking to other experienced teachers. And also looking at them, I was able to build up my confidence and really be creative in this profession that I have grown to love so much. That's awesome. 664 understands, and you mentioned before, that you are uh, in St. Lucia studying. Could you tell us some more about this? What exactly are you studying and so forth? Well, I'm doing my associate degree in teacher education. I'm enrolled in the teacher's division at Sir Arthur. Um, there are 25 students in my class. We are all specialized in, in primary education. There's also the bachelor's program and the secondary program also. But I intend to do my bachelor's through long distance once I've completed my associate's degree. Um, are you the only Monsuration currently enrolled there? Yes, I am. Okay. I am the only overseas student in my class, actually. And how long you said it would take for you to complete this? Two years. And then you'll be back in Montserrat? or? A lot of people keep asking me, even my friends back there, when you finish your going back to Montserrat, I said, of course. Definitely. Why would I stay up here? Montserrat is my home. I only came out to study and I'm going back. Okay, and you just brought me to my next question. You are very talented, skillful, and you have the education. How can you use all of this to the advancement of Montserrat? Well, I found what I've learned so far very beneficial, especially um, even for me as a mother. Because last semester we did a course, it's a part of psychology, but it's called Foundations in Child Development. And now, if you're ignorant to the development of a child, you won't be able to properly manage that child. You'll probably pass off the child as rude 
or you know you're just like I don't understand what this child is going through but that course helped me out a lot and even sometimes when we learn certain things in class and I went home and I looked at my daughter and I was like you know exactly what we learned that's why I see her exhibiting she's actually in that phase so I really enjoyed that class and other classes too I also did we also did a course in technology and that was very useful for me we had to learn how to design um, web pages wow. and um, learn how to make movies and stuff like that and um, PowerPoint presentations because we realized that this is a very technological um, world right now and we have to really know how to do these things in order to capture the youth and also to get our message across to other people. Right. So some of the things that I've learned so far are very good. Next semester when I go back, one of my um, electives would be drama and theatre. And I plan to use that because we could also use that in the schools and or at some school programs, at church, you know, and so on to get the youth involved. Right, so your contribution to Montserrat would be in terms of our young people, teaching them, mentoring them, right? Yes, of course. That's, I, that's awesome. I could also like, work along with my fellow colleagues and share the knowledge that I've had so that we can all work together to help each other. That sounds great. I love that. Okay, you know, we're on the topic of young people, mm -hmm. and I've moved home. You're coming back, mm -hmm. but there are some others who are away who are very skeptical about returning. Mm -hmm. What would you say to our young people to encourage them to, you know, come back home to Montserrat? Actually, first, let me ask this. What do you think needs to be done in Montserrat to attract our young people to come back home? Well, first of all, you know, most young people would say that Monster is boring. But when I was away, and uh, one night I went on YouTube, and there were some videos showing different places that you can go in Monster and so on. And I was like, look at it, how we in Monster were saying how Monster is so boring. And uh, we have so many things to do. You can go hiking. You can go snorkeling. You can start a dance group, a drama group. You have to be the person to do something in Montserrat to make a change so that it won't be boring. If you sit down and keep saying that Montserrat is boring, it will stay boring. But I think that we all need to work together and come up with creative ideas to really help Montserrat to develop. Because Montserrat cannot develop on its own. It will take me and you and everybody. And to those that who are out there and say that they don't want to come back, I don't believe them. I know they really want to come back, but they're thinking, what am I going to do when I get there? The only way to find out is to come back. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of things to do if you're concerned about jobs. I'm sure that there would be a job for you when you get here. Because much of it is developing. We have That's so nice. many offices that we did not have in years gone by and we're looking for educated people. Why should we be hiring people from Trinidad or Guyana or St. Kitts or Antigua? Not that I'm saying that we don't need them because we need everybody. But we have a lot of educated menstruations uh, developing other countries. Right. So definitely. why don't you just come back home and help to develop your own country? Mm. That's how I Those think. are some great points. Thank you so much for that. Okay, my last question is, you are familiar with the Lady Foundation that 664 wants to start, and yes. we have a lot of prospective young ladies here who can join. What would you say to them to encourage them to join when we start the foundation? Well, first of all, I've realized that um, a lot of ladies tend to shy away from pageantry. And I think the number one reason for that is that they're not confident in themselves. I find that we need to be more confident in ourselves. We need to have a very high self-concept and a very high self-esteem of ourselves, even though someone else may not feel the same about you. Once you love you and you're comfortable with who you are, you will be able to do such. And I think for girls entering that foundation, it's not just about showing off and going on the stage and modeling. But I think for me, the Lady Foundation would be about developing yourself. Definitely. Making you a better woman inside and out.